KTN Sports News, brought to you by Sport Pesa. Thank you for staying with us. You're watching Crossfire. Let's now take a look at uh, sports news. Vihiga Queens are the champions of the inaugural edition of the CAF Women Champions League CAF qualifiers. Vihiga defeated the CBE from Ethiopia in the final played at the Kasarani Stadium. Gentrix Shikangwa gave Vihiga the lead in the 27th minute before CBE leveled. Shikangwa, who took home the golden boot of the tournament, gave the Kenyan side victory through her converted penalty in the final minute of the game. Viga will represent the Sekafa region in the Women's Champions League to be played in Egypt. She parry this one and send Viga. And Jantrix, Shikangwa, Mirimo. Jantrix, Shikangwa, Minimal. Niko na fraa, sabu wachezaji wame follow instructions zanyi niliwapatia. Last game tu lilusa against Ethiopia. Na niko ambia tumekuja tumejipanga. Ndiyo maanu meona tumeshinda hii game. Kwa kitu we must to win. Tu walitufunga last game. Wakajua, walikujua kijua, tu watashinda. Kwa kitu nikuwa tumejipanga. A very, very good uh, job done there by the Higa Queens and... Uh, a great goal there by Gentrix Shikangwa. Now, a total of 16 countries have confirmed participation in the inaugural Africa Deaf Olympics Ball Games qualifiers slated for Nairobi from September 11th to 25th. The event is being used as a yardstick to pick African teams to the 2022 Deaf Olympics that will take place in Brazil. In 40 years of the history of sports of the deaf people in Africa, we have never had an event like this one, the board games qualifiers, which means that this is the first time Africa is having an event and also the first time that is happening in Kenya. So I'm happy about this. I think this is a major starting point for deaf sports in Kenya. And when the championship is over, whether they win or lose, I can see the culture of participating in sports is going to be inculcated in them. And people are going to continue playing and playing and playing. And what is good is they are going to leave a legacy behind because the generations behind them, the generations behind them will take up the sport. It doesn't have to be football. It doesn't have to be netball. They can take whatever sport of their choice. It could be athletics. It could be volleyball. It could be any sport of their choice, which they feel they're talented in. And they are going to go flat out and play it. Well done, the 23,000 meters steeplechase champion Amos Serem is seeking to break the world record in the water and barrier race in the future. The youngster who dazzled at the championships that were held in Nairobi in August says despite the challenges he is facing, his main focus at the moment is taking part in the Diamond League. Go Shane, takes it okay. At the Global World Under-20 Championships at Kasaran in the county of Nairobi, Amos Irem put on show with his stylish antics after winning the 3,000 meters men's triple chase. And so you can take that on to Keeley. He was ready with his fifth gear, but these two guys hit the turbo switch. And just like his mentor, Ezekiel Kemboi, he danced his way to success. But little known Amos Irem from Kabao village, Tucked in the outskirts of Eldoret in the county of Wasengishu, he's just an ordinary athlete. The bumpy ride towards their old wooden and mud walled houses indicates the hardship and challenges he has encountered. Iso mambo na kuruka iso mambo na barriers iso. Mini asa mini lichitenga ni asa iso miti ya kuruka kwa ukunyba niki train. Iyo njoo nilianza afa kwa nilianza kwa ukunyba. Yeah. He explains why he celebrated his win with a jig 
hiyo celebration yangu ilikuwa nilikuwa na celebrate nikurudisha jina ya Ezekiel Kimbo kwa nilikuwa na joy hivi hiyo site hiyo site ina kwanga st pulches hasa venye Ezekiel Kimbo alikuwa anakimbia alikuwa na maana sana hiyo style kama kama amewin alafu mimi nilikuwa nataka sin nikuje nikue kwa sababu nimeenda wa Ezekiel Kimbo nikasema nitatumia tactics yake sote maana nikakimbia vizuri na nikawa kwanza his father Joseph Serema, former athlete, mentored Amos when he was still young. But according to Serem Senior, he is unhappy with the way the government treats its athletes. Mimi, kwa sababu kuna watu wetu kule Uganda. Soon nitaama huko sasa. Ili kijana wangu in future akimbilia ta Uganda. Kwa sababu naona Kenya sasa tunafanya huu chini watoto wakimbie lakini motivation katika nchi yetu hakuna. Endelesha ni kungangana na mimi ndio discipline yangu ndio niende mbali hasa kwa race ambayo itakuwa mbele naendelea tu kungangana mpaka nilete yo record ya stupolches Elvis Kosgei K KTN Sports News brought to you by Sport Pesa.